What's that? Is, is someone there? I feel like... I feel like someone's watching me. Could it be? Oh! Hello, it's you at home. Welcome to the adventures of Demarcus Dally, survivor and zombie aficionado. So I've taken your advice from yesterday and I've compiled it into one big useful list that I'm storing in my brain. So first one, of course, uh, 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 this is probably the biggest one, is the fact that I have not been storing things in the bag. I've been, in fact, storing it just in his pockets, I assume. Um... So that's been very inconvenient. He's got this empty duffel bag on his back and he's just been carrying home everything in his arms. So, okay, fair enough. That's definitely a big problem that I know now is, uh, is, is something fairly easily resolved. The other thing as well, which is, which is uh, a, a big mechanic, essentially, that I have been missing out on is the, uh, is the push mechanic. We press space and he does a push or an incredible fancy dance. One or the other, depending on how you feel. Now, on the subject of combat, too, many of you have said that I need to get some proper clo closed door. Oh, right, you don't, you're not talking about the front door. Um, hello, sir? Uh, <laughs> hello, sir? Um, many of you have said that I need to get some proper clothes for defense, because as stylish as we are right now, apparently it's not very good for, holy shit, for dealing with the zombie menace. Okay, let's see if I can put this space bar into practical application. Oh, get yeeted. Get out of here. Okay, just hit him with the axe. We don't want to accidentally back up into more zombies, though. Oh, no, 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 no. I was trying to turn around and see if they were... Okay, this, the coast is clear. We're okay for a little while. Get pushed. Get whacked. Nice, 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 nice. Finish him. Good work. Oh, what a guy. Okay, what have we got here? Jeans and a denim shirt. Seem like... Ah! Oh! You son of a bitch, you weren't dead at all. Wow, that actually genuinely startled me a little bit there. <laughs> Are you okay? Not a problem. A lot the, the adrenaline's high, but luckily so is his blood pressure. I mean, this is probably a good thing in this case, as in he's not bleeding out everywhere. Um, to be honest, the denim shirt and the baggy jeans and the long so socks all seem pretty fucking good for... Uh, they all seem pretty good for keeping his, his self nice and protected, huh? So I'm gonna go... Oh, damn. Hey. Uh, and then we'll we'll go we'll go back to the house quickly and get those get those polished up, and then we'll head out into the world again and see what we can find. I'm still looking for duct tape, to be honest with you. Many of you have also confirmed what I what, what my my kind of suspicion, for lack of a better word, in last episode where I asked if the uh, eventually the government would would turn off or or just by the fact that it's the fucking apocalypse, the power and the water would go out, and apparently that is that is the case. It will eventually. Um, it will eventually get shut off, so 28 weeks later style, I think it was 28 days later actually, wasn't it? Um, we need to get a load of cooking pots and things to collect rainwater, I can assume, or just stockpile some water in general. Let's go ahead and wash all this clothing, and swap our denim shorts out for full-on jeans, and then we'll get a denim jacket on as well. Denim's quite durable. I feel like the zombies are going to have a pretty hard time getting through that. Let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit. Oh, he's done instantly, my bad, sorry. And uh, let's get you, just wash yourself as well. You got a little bit of, uh... A little bit of blood up there on the dome piece, my friend, and luckily enough, it's not ours, because that went, uh, that almost went pretty, pretty badly there for a second. Right, let's get this, uh, let's get this worn then. So we get plus seven to our bite defense and plus 15 to our scratch defense. Look at that. Wow, that is, uh, pretty poor quality though, huh? <laughs> it's still better than what we're wearing though. It's still better than what we're wearing. We get some, uh, get some torn trousers on there. I assume our old stuff has just been, uh put in our backpack. Yeah, look, if we re-equip that, it's minus... I mean, it's zero bite defense. It's minus ten, so so it doesn't hurt wearing this stuff. It's a little bit ragged, a little bit tattered. When we... Uh, now now that I really know that this has such an, an important impact on things, when we get back out there in the world, and, and as we're kind of looking for things, I'll see if I can find some, some more fresh clothes um, that aren't quite so tattered and also taken from a dead man's corpse. Right, what have we got here? I mean... I guess it would be a dead man's corpse if it's a corpse. Uh, denim shorts. Don't really want that. Let's go ahead and th throw you down. Oh, he's hungry already. This man is always hungry. Good God. Eat a radish. Somebody said that um, radishes are a terrible crop, but potatoes are top tier. So next time we won't bother planting. Uh, well, I should really get to plant the rest of the potatoes, basically. Um, but we, we definitely won't plant any more radishes. Sod that. And let's get you a little bit of a chalky snack. And then let's get out there in the world. We got we got some bread if he gets hungry on the way out. We should fill up a water bottle too, actually, because we haven't got that. Maybe I should take some bandages with me too. Just in case we um 
you know, just in case we ever get into a little bit of trouble and need need some need something to Yeah, I guess we'll take the ripped sheet just in case we need to pick ourselves up. Where are our water bottles even? Um Oh, I'd probably put them in the fridge. That's right. For a nice cold water bottle experience. Nobody wants a, nobody wants to be running away from zombies drinking warm water. That's vile. Yeah, give me that too. We'll have a sip from the sink before we leave. And then let's get out there into the world. How's our So somebody said that the durability on our gear is represented by the star, right? So I assume because... I, I assume the more full the star is, the better the durability is. So in this case, our scissors are pretty durable, but our main weapon is um, quickly going the way of the dodo. So uh, can I can I confirm that very briefly? Damage is... Oh, it, damage is obviously the damage it does condition is what I'm looking for there. It's at about half condition. Uh, the scissors, by comparison, are much... Well, they're not even much higher, though, are they? Maybe that's not what that means. Maybe that's skill. Maybe he's very skilled with scissors. Although I probably wouldn't let this guy use anything but safety scissors. Right, what have we got here? Let's take a, a kind of backup weapon, just in case. Um, we do have the hand fork, but I, we, we're using that for our gardening. Should we take another hand fork? Oh, I'm sure we'll be fine. We're not getting into that much combat. And now I know about the, uh, now I know about the push. So, let's get out there in the world. What a mess in my nice front garden. So we, which way did we go last time? We went this way, and we went up the path, but the path split. And I can't remember whether we went... Well, we obviously came originally from, from down this way. This is back towards the river, isn't it? Down there. So we'll head back up here. We'll cut through. Um, we'll head back up here. We've got to be careful of the zombies, though, because there was a massive horde, for lack of a better word. I don't know if that is the right term. Um, there was a massive horde of them kicking around on this road. There's one right there. Be careful, little Demarcus. Be careful. So this is the house we looted earlier. I might go back and actually look for some clothes now that I kind of know what I'm looking for a little bit with regards to that. Oh, yeah, there's our horde. Okay, let's give those a wide berth then. Last thing we want is to be fighting five at once. Even though I've got my new push tactic, I'm I'm not. Let's be honest, don't, don't bet on Demarcus surviving much longer. <laughs> oh, shit, they can see me. Oh, they can see me. I may have just walked into a death trap here. Get in, get out, fast as you can. Nothing in there. Okay, go, go, go. Get out, get out, get out. We do not want to be trapped in here with zombies. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. Right, so up here, I'm pretty sure we saw another house, didn't we? Are we good? Yeah, we're actually fine. We haven't been spotted quite yet. I'm trying not to zoom in and out too much because I think it might be quite quite annoying for you guys if I'm, if I'm doing that. So I'm trying to keep us zoomed out as much as possible. We're out here on the open road. Uh, but when we get into combat, obviously being able to see the... Uh, See the little crosshair a bit easier. Especially for those of you on mobile too. Uh, that would that would probably come in handy. Got one over there. They're quite far away. Maybe there wasn't anything up here. Did I check up here yesterday? Oh god, okay. This may be a wild goose chase, but oh, you know, it's early in the day. Oh god. It's early in the day. We've got a whole bunch of them up there. Oh, here we go. We've got a fence got a fence i will admit not running everywhere is definitely a game changer isn't it somebody said that we that our regular walking speed outpaces uh a zombie's shambling speed anyway so there's no reason not to walk i, I guess if you've got to give them the old razzle dazzle or if you're about to be cornered by multiple walking zombies at once that's a good reason to to haul ass are we good to take you on let's do it then pushed pushed push don't do not get bitten demarcus I swear to God. I don't quite understand the push quite yet. I guess there's a chance just to immediately knock them down. And then if that's the case, then you can obviously just get on them and, and start hacking them apart. Jeans. Are they better quality than what we've got right now? Jeans versus... What are we wearing? Baggy jeans. Uh, condition is relatively low. Insulation. Bite defense 10. Scratch defense. Oh, they're way better condition than what we're wearing. Let's go ahead and put those in our duffel bag. Yeah, there we go. Good shit. And we'll swap out to those when we get back. Another lovely free-range field of zombies. Now, I'm not massively... I will admit, I'm not massively attached to the other house. You know, if it, if it becomes a little tricky getting home, you know, if we end up wandering through... Or if on the way back we see, like, there's a horde or something like that, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna try and, and, and brute force our way back to the house and potentially lead them all back there with us. Man, I'm surprised there's no more... Oh, there's quite a few of that. Oh, there's a... That looks to be somewhere where you may find a hammer. There's also a lot of zombies around here. I feel like the concentration of zombies is getting a bit more... You know, it's, it's getting a bit more potent recently, isn't it? 
Okay, I think we've got three after us here, boys. This could be a problem. Just, 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 just keep moving away. Or we can bait them to climb over the fence. They might, they might just uh, instinctively want to jump over that. I like the look of this place, though. Oh, look at this. This is what I'm after. Okay, we've got to be careful with regards to... Oh, the amount that we're baiting over, though. This is getting a little dangerous. Oh, little Demarcus, I'm so sorry. We can always book it. You know, if we're getting a little bit of trouble, we, we could just book it and get out of here. I want to go in there, but... With the amount of zombies we've got shambling towards us, I'm not so certain. Oh, fuck. There's bloody loads. Oh, there's absolutely shit tons. Okay, I've been bamboozled a little bit. Okay, I wonder if we can open this window. Come on. Go, go, go. Get in. Good work. Close that. Right, we're safe for a second. It's probably not ideal. I didn't even check if there are any zombies in here. Right, let's see what we can loot. Okay, you are a, a rake. A rake is not massively ideal. Oh, this is this is high tier. This is this is tension. And I'm not a big fan of it. Okay, let's shut that. We might be able to give them the old razzle-dazzle through here, then. Okay, nothing in there. Oh, fuck. What a waste of time. Okay, climb on climb on through. Well, we've lost the zombies. We got that going for us, which is quite nice. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, That house has many, many smash windows. I would love to take a look, but I feel like that is just... uh, That's zombie central, isn't it? Did a really good job of losing those other guys, though, huh? Shit, that's quite a big house, too. Potentially missing out on a lot of loot in there. We actually did a really good job of losing those other ones. Right, is there... Oh, look, there's another house over here. And it actually seems relatively unzombie. Let's go and take a look. All I want is a hammer. Something where I can start doing a bit of carpentry. And I can build my own barricades, defenses, whatever else. You know, it actually looks quite clear over here. We've done an alright job. Even if we can just hunker down here for a little while. That wouldn't hurt. Worst case scenario, full of zombies. Okay. Come on. Come on, Demarcus. Yes, yeah, nice work. Okay, get in. Close the window. And let's go ahead and close the curtains. Okay. So we might open this door. Or we may wander in here. And there may be just zombies in this house. Oh, you know what? I actually think the coast is clear. I think we've done a great job. We may hunker down here for the night. Okay. Let's just make sure everything is, uh... Make sure everything is covered. Right. Close, close, close those curtains. This is way high tension. This is, this is a little bit more, uh... It's a little bit more intense than farming, I will admit. God fucking hell. I saw our shadow then. I thought that was genuinely a zombie that was right behind that corner. You son of a bitch. Okay. So I think we're safe in here, relatively. There's an open window there we can't really do much about. Besides that, though, this is this is okay. This is pretty good. I imagine there's some food here we can we can eat. Just got to watch out over there. Let's get these closed as well. All right. Somewhere to hide, but we are basically in Zombie Central, so I'm not massively pleased about this, I will admit. Let's go ahead and turn you off for a time being. And maybe we'll watch some, watch some TV later on. I'm low volume. Right, what have you got for me? Pants? Uh, long socks? It's better than what we've got, right? Let's go ahead and grab those. Right, what have we got for food? Oats! That seems good. Peanut butter! That's super high calorie. Look at that, 2,660. We can live on peanut butter forever. Grab that. Well, maybe not forever, but you know. Coffee? Coffee's a, d a dangerous game. You don't want to get a caffeine addiction in the middle of an apocalypse where you can't... Oh! A tasty ratty! Hello. I'll be taking that home with me. Uh, that sounded like... That sounded way more sinister than I intended. I just want to cook it and eat it, okay? He's not that lonely quite yet. Dry ramen noodles. You can eat those. You can eat those. That's fine. A nice crunchy treat. Um, forks and spoons. Baking pan, dish towel. That's really it. Oh, damn. This, this, this wasn't quite the loot fest I was after, and it certainly wasn't worth uh, the risk coming over here, huh? Closed umbrella. Limited impact when used one-handed. Now, I did notice there was a recipe to unclose the, uh, or, or close and open the umbrella. Don't know if that's relevant. Don't know if we can craft some sort of weapon with it. Oh, friendship bra bracelet. How tragic. Um, magazine in there. Okay, and then finally, we've got to be careful going this way. A needle. 
We don't have a needle. And a needle could come in quite handy, I think. Let's get that closed up. Um, the Hunter magazine. Oh, look at that. Hey, that seems pretty good. Give me, give me one of those. Got a regular magazine too. Just good for the, the boredom. Oh, no. Stop. That's my bad. We just hit loot all. We're fine. Give me that. Give me that ratty back. Dangerous uncooked. Oh, you actually can cook a rat. This is the game of the year right here. Not like, not like Vampire the Masquerade on the second channel where we were just eating rats raw. This game, way more civilized. Way more civilized. Right. Let's put, uh, put a little bit of a ratty in there. There you go. Dangerous uncooked. Is that is that good? I just put that in the fridge. What's going on here? How long does it take to cook a rat? Burning! No, 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 my rat. Fresh cooked. Yeah, 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 look at that. Oh, that looks incredible. What a gut. No, 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 no. How do I take it out of the oven? Take it out of the oven, fella. Oh, maybe, hang on. Turn off, turn off the oven. We got it. Yeah, there we are. A little overcooked, a little overcooked. Unhappiness plus 30. You can tell what you fucking get. What the hell are you talking about, unhappiness 30? It's a rat. He get, well, He's less... He's less happy about eating the rat than he is about eating worms out of the ground. You are high as hell. I would be overjoyed to get a rat on a stick during the time of the apocalypse. You are a madman. Plus 15 unhappiness. You can fuck yourself. I, th I genuinely thought his name was Duffel Bag then for a second. What's his name? Demarcus. Absolute classic duffel bag right there. It seems quite intricate. I assume we could get like a like a CD player. Um, earbuds I've noticed is, is around quite a lot. I assume if we get those, we can use them in, in tandem. And and maybe reduce some of his some of his boredom or something like that. Right, okay. Um what we've we got in our regular backpack then? We've got our wrap, we can put that in the duffel bag. Sheets, put those in the duffel bag. Actually put everything in the duffel bag. Is there any downside to there's not like a storage delay or anything, you know, if you want to get something out there. I, I guess it doesn't matter too much. There we are. I want to go ahead and wear these jeans. Replace the baggy jeans with that. Yeah, just because they're a bit more... Whoops. Sorry, they're, they're a bit higher quality. Um, where, did my, where did my jeans go? There we are. Let's go ahead and wear those. That should deal with... Oh, there we are. Look at that. We've actually got all our legs covered now. And then we haven't found anything yet to replace his, uh, his jacket, but the jacket's pretty good. Can you hear that? Hello? Oh, there's someone in the bathroom. Zombie in the bath all along. That classic trope in the shower. Pull back the curtain and it stood there. Let's fill up our water bottle. We should probably also get him get him washed a little bit because he's, uh, he's, he's looking in a bit of a state. He's hungry again. After half a rat. You are a greedy boy. You are a greedy boy, Demarcus Duffelbag. Right. Eat another half of a rat. There you go. Good as new. That rat could have been there for four months. Feeling a little sad. Oh, I had to eat a rat. Oh, I got a fresh cooked meal in the zombie apocalypse. Wow. What a baby. What an absolute child. Right, watch some TV. Everybody love uh, pe people love TV. There you go. Don't sit on the sit on the sofa, sit on the ground. Tune into Turbo. No. Is Turbo gone? Triple N. Ah, oh, there we are. You good. Now sit there and watch TV and we'll catch up with you in a second. Oh, somebody told me about this. So we can gain experience from watching the Life and Living TV channel. So we just gained a little bit of carpentry XP there for for watching. Uh, can I see skills? Get out of here. Uh, yeah, look, look, look. You can see his carpentry is is actively increasing. He's got level one carpentry, level one cooking. I'm taking y'all upstairs. I bet you are. Uh, there we go. Thank you. Woodcraft. What a what a channel. How can you be unhappy still? Everybody knows Carpentry TV cancels out dead rat even. There you go, he's fine. All he had to do was watch a bit of children's TV. That's worrying. Thank you. Right, let's get him a drink. And then we could start heading home. It's 20 past 20 past 6. So let's uh let's get ourselves a bit of a, a drink from the oven. We're not quite that desperate yet. Look at this! Look at that sink! What are you, a YouTuber? Let's get uh let's get a drink out of here then. Alright, there you go. Good as new. Let's head out. We've got to be very careful. It's dark. Full of zombies. Okay. Oh, well, there's two literally right there. I, I do still want to check out this house. We'll see if the horde is... Maybe dissipated slightly. But this is this is danger zone. Let's see. There's one in the window right there. There's this guy. Oh, my God. No. Bad. Naughty. Oh, get the fuck away. 
Don't you dare. We are so far away from our house. Okay, it's all about timing. It's all about timing. I don't know that it is all about timing. Okay. Okay, we good? We good? We good? There was a fucking guy right outside. Watching me. You dirty boy. Um, baggy jeans, bloody dog jeans. Oh, come on. We need a better jacket. There's two zombies at the window there. I really, really want to want to have a look, but it's a bit dangerous, isn't it? Oh, my God. It's not worth it. Is this the end of the road as well? Yes, it is. Right, just keep following the road. Like I said, we follow the road. We can't go wrong. Just just keep going, little Demarcus. Can't believe that it's 7 p.m. and it's still light outside. Good God, Kentucky's like a modern-day paradise. Where I live, the clock strikes three and it's pitch black outside. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. Holy shit. Okay, gotta get used to all these all these American things. 70 Fs? I don't know what that means. What is that? Pressure? And everybody in the comment section is laughing at me. Oh, I, oh, look at this guy trying to drive on the wrong side of the car. Guess what, fucker? I can't drive anyway. It doesn't matter which car side of the car you put me on. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. So it makes no difference. D uh, he doesn't need to drive. He's got Heelys. Oh my god, I hope there are Heelys in this apocalypse. All right, let's go back over to the... Give those guys a bit of a wide berth. Ooh, careful. Oh, farmer zombies. They're the worst kind of zombies. They're so disgruntled about dairy. Please, sir, I'm sorry the millennials are drinking soy, but I really can't help you. Oh, there's so many. Okay, we need to be careful. Let's, let's move, actually move closer to the farmer zombies and, and give them what for. We'll give them what for. This is for the battery hens, you bitch. Come on, take him down. You fucking... Get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Stand. Kill. Slay. You're welcome. State of Kentucky, you're welcome. Uh, denim shirt. Oh, if I could rely on anybody to have lumberjack shirt, overalls, t-shirts. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. If I could rely on anybody to be wearing denim clothes, it's... Oh, no. Farmer zombies are going to get past two more now. I hate it because every encounter... It, it, it's really well done because every encounter is... Potentially life or death. If we're bitten, you know, we're, we're done for. We could we could end up like them. So we do have to be very, very, very careful still. Just have a look around. We're fine. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Okay, push. Yes, nice work. That's, that's how we implement the push. Bash his head in. I can't believe you're not dead. Okay, we good? We good? We good. Oh, okay. Denim shirt. Um, silver ring overalls. We've, we've got but military boots. That seems bloody good. Give me that. No fucking around. Okay, no fucking around. I hope I got those. Piss off. Piss off. You bloody... You absolute shit. Oh my god, I can't... What the fuck? You get away from me. You get away from me. I can't believe that. What the fuck is wrong with these guys? They're so powerful. They are so powerful compared to every other zombie we fought. Oh my god. Demarcus, you can't just die out here in the middle of a farm. That tree is shaking. That's a bear. There's a goddamn grizzly bear coming for us. Bring him down. What the hell was that tree shaking for? This was this was chaos. Fuck. Do we at least get the boots? Tell me I'm not going to die without my military boots. Okay, we are in a lot of trouble here. This is not the place we want to be patching ourselves up, but what the hell choice have I got? Rip sheets, go. I hate it. Bitten in the right hand. It's got to go. That hand's got to go. To mark us, I'm hoping not to attach to it. I mean, out in, in the sort of... In the sort of anecdotal sense, not in the... Not in the literal sense. I mean, it's your hand, it's... It's pretty firmly attached, I hope. <laughs> or at least it was until we met those two. Fucking good lord. Oh, there's got to be a house or something nearby we can we can hide in. The thing is, now that he's injured, I don't know if that his walking speed is faster than a zombie zombie shamble speed. I think that one's seen us as well. Oh, this is fucked. How have they got such good vision? They've been eating their carrots. Or their radishes. Come on. How many hits does it take to fucking kill a zombie? He's dead. We've done it. Come on. Get a push. Go. 
Get a push. Nice. And finish. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job. Okay, what have we got then? You're not dead. How are you not dead? The the the, the giblets blew out. Oh, maybe they were just in Maybe maybe they were just regular old giblets. This is a nice smelling zombie. Okay. There's not a house in sight. There's not a fucking house in sight. I'm sorry, Demarcus. You may be dead, Marcus, if we're not careful. Just gotta find somewhere to sleep. We have sleeping pills back at the old house, but we've gone so far now that heading back is going to be quite hard. It's also 9pm and it's it's still bright outside. Okay, a house. Oh, let's go for it. I don't like it. There's a lot between us and there. There's a lot between us and there, but it's it's not an insurmountable... Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Do you think we can get in that window before they... I think the front door's a better bet, huh? This is chaos. Okay. Because there's one zombie at the front here we could probably pop. There's a zombie inside the house, which is just about the worst case scenario. Oh, no, you're, you're outside the house. Okay. Take her out. Come on. Just die. Just die. Okay, that, that means she's dead. Okay, there's a car over there. Let's get in. This is our... This is our new house. Friendship ended with the old house. That's not what I wanted at all. Why did he just smash it? Why did he... Why did he smash that window? Demarcus, we've got to have a real fucking chat about you being a moron. Oh, for God's sake. Okay. Look at the glass. Go on, slice your hand open, you shit. Oh, you moron. I'm so angry at you. Right, let's go to the other house. You you fucked this one right up, my friend. Actually, this house is quite nice looking, huh? There's a car. There's a car. We might, we might be able to just drive away. Okay, get in. Get in. Come on, front door. Please be open. <gasps> Safety. Lock the door. Oh, Jesus. The word safety has never been any less true. Goodbye. <laughs> ah, fuck. All I wanted was to bloody sort his wounds out. Oh, shit. Should have left the front door open, bait them in. Okay, okay. Maybe we'll go back to the other place where we smash the glass. Oh, I hate you, Demarcus. How has this gone so bad? We've done so well yesterday. And this guy's a... Um, all it took was one bad zombie encounter... And it's over. Come on. Bring him down. Come on. Okay. Okay. W w this is still fine. This is still fine. And where the hell all those zombies went? They were all... They're in the house. They're in the house. But look, we're almost away. I think if we can get in here... Just shut the blinds. We're probably okay. Get in, get in, get in. Okay, close curtains. Quick. Quick! How long does it take to close curtains when your life depends on it, man? Okay. Cooey! Oh dear. Close curtains. <laughs> Excuse me, there's no one home. You must be mistaken. Okay, what have we got in here? A person? A shower. Okay. Okay, okay, this is our home. As long as we're careful about where we walk... We could sleep in the bathroom. I'm, I haven't got a problem with that. Let's be careful here. Just shut that door and now cry. Just break down and cry. What a mess. This this suddenly went so wrong. Okay. Uh, fill fill the water bottle. Right. Let's, let's, let's sort this out, my friend. Okay. Okay. Bandages. Fuck. That's a radio. Okay. Good work. Good work. Let's get these bandages removed and sort it out. Scratched. It's okay. It's just a scratch. Moderate damage. That's fine. <gasps> Laceration. That's not good. Bleeding. Lacerated. How do we... Okay. Wash. 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 Wash the rags. How do we stop that? Oh my god. Look. The blood's going everywhere. I just get... I guess just bandage it. I don't know if we need to like tourniquet it or cauterize it or something. Okay. Well, that's something. Okay. Patch that arm up. 
Look, his health's still going down. I think he's bleeding. Okay, pain. Pain. Pain is temporary. Glory is forever. Drink from the toilet. True champions, drink from the toilet. Now, now wash yourself. Get yourself sorted out here. Let's reduce the chance of infection. Can you hear that? I think they're out. Oh my god! Are they outside the fucking door? <laughs> oh, is there a way out? There's no window in here. That's a mirror. Okay, okay. It might just be one. Get ready. Get ready to fight. Fuck, this is horrible. This is actually... This is, like, instilling dread in my heart. This is a horrible scenario. They must have gotten the smash window. This is... Oh, my God. This is exactly why I said... This is exactly why I tried to go to the other house. Oh, I thought they got bored then. Is it just one zombie? Can we lock the door? We can't. Fuck. Have I just got to stand here and wait for them to get me? <laughs> this is hell. If this is me in real life, I would just be... I'd just be drowning myself in the toilet. Fuck this. This is... This is ridiculous. Okay, Demarcus. It may just be one. It is. It is. It is. Go. Finish her off. Finish her off. Durin. 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 Oh my god, it's not just one. Fuck. Please get back. Please be, please be, please. Oh my god. Help me. Help me. Demarcus. Demarcus. No, not like this. Go, go, go. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, fuck. Get away from me. Come on, 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 get out. Get out! No, 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 no! The fuck away from me! Demarcus! Demarcus! Oh, this is horrible. Come on, run, 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 run. Get out of there! Oh my god, I think. My friends. I think it's over. That was genuinely like a fucking horror film. That was cool. That was cool, but genuinely a little bit terrifying in the most literal sense of the word. Holy shit. Washing yourself in the bathroom and you just hear, hear a knock at the door. Oh, it's okay. It's just one zombie and then three others coming behind her. And there he is. The Marcus Daly, the duffel bag man himself. Didn't even get to see a single potato harvest. Wow, that's that's horrifying. That's really, really scary, isn't it? Holy shit, wow. Let's leave it there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can play a couple of games uh, in in my spare time. So there probably won't be any projects on board tomorrow or anything like that. Um New CK3 series is launching soon as well. Um, but I'll, I'll get some practice in and we'll, we'll definitely come back to this. I, I want to be a bit more experienced. You know, I need to know a bit more about the crafting. I want to know a bit more about, you know, kind of urban gameplay, seeing as we basically just fled into, into the countryside. I want to see what it's like actually starting in a city and surviving and jumping between houses, you know, avoiding big zombie hordes. You didn't have to do much of that here. So... That's going to be a big part, I think, of, of, of my, my research. And maybe even looking into some mods. You know, seeing if there are anything um, that maybe makes it a bit more... You know, not as any problems with the game um, necessarily. But if there's any quality of life mods, of course, they're always good to just, just kind of throw in. Especially when you're learning. So, wow, that was that was a little bit horrifying. That's, that's a little bit unnerving, isn't it? Thank you to Alchemia, KQ, The Magic, Flying, Velociraptor, Tremere, Regent, Jess... Dante Mordekane, Cat, X Doctor Don, MD, Dumgit, Rage Dragon, I Am Sagatair, Commissar Taj, Solothal, German Hammer, Jobo Daddy, Sirik Thurin 3, Arctic Knight, Thor, JT, 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 Emily, and of course all the other executive producers on Patreon for voting for this series in the first place. Thank you guys. This has been a, a horrifying experience, and that was quite a cool end to the story of Demarcus. A little, uh, quite literally, overconfidence there being our downfall. Wow, that was frightening. Thank you to Proximity Jones, Major Mythical, Sturmcrower, Moondoggy, Bordoon, Larry the Emu, Astro, Astro's Fan, 12345, Nyancat17, Atreus Sen, Cold Flame, and Blue Chaos as well. 
for their support. Never forget. Never forget. Duffel bag. What was his name? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I've already forgotten. <laughs> <laughs>